And TIA's small cell and DAS workshop was all about deploying new networks in the field to maximize return on investment with efficient and demand-ready networks. Bill Kuhn, Vice President of Commercial Technology at Corning, was a part of the panel discussions about the challenges, best practices, and latest technologies for indoor and outdoor densified network deployment. And Bill, welcome to the segment. Thank you very much. Well, thanks for being here. Uh, first, I want to get your just general um, impression of the workshop. I thought it was a fantastic workshop, uh, great panels, great uh, introductory speaker. I mean, it really, really addressed all of the issues kind of facing the industry. And, and um, I, I think it was, everybody was, seemed to be coming to the like-minded view of uh, these infrastructures need to be able to support DAS and small cell and remote radio head, et cetera. And, uh, and so I thought it was a very, uh, very open dialogue around there is no one single winning technology. There's there's a, uh, uh, a complicated environment that we have to support. Let's start this uh, brief discussion about a high level um, explanation of converged infrastructure solutions and in building wireless with respect to fiber and small cell and DAS. Okay, a absolutely. So, uh, you know, I think the, you know, what is interesting is that there are these alternative technologies out there. Um, they all, have distributed elements. They all require wireline infrastructure to support them. Um, and this convergence really comes down to, is there a way, is there a method to build an infrastructure that can support DAS, support small cell, support remote radio head, support Wi-Fi? Uh, because it, as we all know, it takes a lot of wires to make, make wireless work. And, uh, and so you've got this infrastructure, you've got distributed radio elements, and um, and in the past, there, you know, each of these has kind of had different cabling infrastructure to make them work. And so is there a way to, uh, to create a common converged infrastructure solution to enable all of these technologies, either simultaneously or to be able to evolve over time to, uh, to support the evolution of wireless? So a number of times during these various panels at the DAS and Small Cell Workshop, it was brought up that premise owners have a real concern about the cost attached to deploying these in-building wireless technologies, um, all the way back to the fiber, by the way. <clears throat> Can you kind of walk us through that concern? Sure. I mean, these, these systems have typically been relatively expensive. Um, they've also been uh, often financed by a wireless carrier coming in and putting in a single carrier solution in. So, so what you have now is, is the enterprises really want a neutral host, multi-carrier, multi-service solution uh, because they've got bring your own device, they've got uh, visitors to the facility, they have their own wireless needs. Um, and so they look at all of that and so the, the cost model and the pricing, the funding model has changed somewhat. And so they've, they've either been expensive or there's been others paying for certain portions of it um, for a single purpose infrastructure. And so what uh, you know? What we you know, so that's changed the dynamics for all of us. You need to bring the cost down for these systems, and you need to create new models by which either there's cost sharing or a lower total cost. Let's talk specifically about fiber installations, if if we can. Um, can you give me an example of what a shared cost model would look like? Sure. Um, and, and fiber is a great, uh, really, in my opinion, the only media that can do all these things. So I've mentioned several alternative technologies, DAS, small cell, Wi-Fi, remote radio head. Um, and fiber is really the only media that can do uh, a lot of back haul, front haul, uh, over distance. And so when you use that kind of media, it frees you up to build a, a uh, infrastructure solution that can support all these technologies, that can um, really be a different way of wiring the, the building for all things, not just wireless, but also the wireline uh, applications. So they're LAN, uh, building automation, um, uh, displays, uh, et cetera, can all be converged on this one infrastructure. And fiber is the, the media that can do that and do that very well. Um, and so once you start putting more things onto your infrastructure solution, uh, as I like to say, your, your denominator goes up. So you've got a total cost. And maybe your cost goes up incrementally for each function you add to it. But if you're dividing by three or four or five different applications that you would have put in parallel networks for, you've now brought your, your average cost down tremendously. Um, and so you know, we've got some, some great proof points where we've had full total convergence on all fiber networks um, that have really saved our enterprise customers anywhere from 30 to 50% on their, their build out. Uh, and they've gotten all applications. So it's a, you know, fiber's the enabler. 
Well, TIA and TIA Now um, is very familiar with the One Wireless platform. We've been exposed uh, to that implementation, that deployment, uh, a number of times on some various video case studies we've been involved in. So we know the power of the One Wireless platform, the power of fiber as well. We appreciate your time at TIA's DAS and Small Cell Workshop, and thanks for talking to us. Thank you.